You've been shot by a gun before? Is that something we could talk about? Yeah, we talk about it, depending on how far we go with it. I understand. How many different occasions has this happened to you? <laughs> or two. And the first time you got shot, do you remember what age you were at the time? By something, 18, something. Yeah, I was something. And where'd you end up getting hit? <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. <clears throat> the second time you got shot, do you remember what age you were at that time? I don't want to talk about it. Okay. It was recent, though. Okay. Um, for someone watching this that's never been shot before, what does that actually feel like? Shit really don't hurt. It's hot. It don't hurt. Though. That shit don't hurt at all. Well, I got shot. It don't hurt. I don't know about what everybody else got shot at. But that shit don't hurt. Though. When you say it's hot, are you able to describe that feeling? Really hot. Hot. Are you able to give an analogy of what maybe that feels like for somebody watching this? Like that your whole body be hot. Shit hot. Are you finna overheat or something like a car? That shit hot. Does that feeling of being hot finish at some point or go away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At what point does it go away? Shit, opinion. I might go through surge. I might shit might go away. It really like after surge for me though. Did you have surgery on both occasions you were shot? Uh, -huh. just the first time. Okay. What was the reason for the surgery? To get the bullet out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second time, just went straight through. Okay. And when you were actually hit by the bullet. Do you actually feel when that happens, or is it just the feeling of hotness after you get shot? Damn. If you get what I'm trying to ask I get you, what you're saying. Like, when you're getting, once that bullet strikes you, do you actually feel that, or is it more so? You don't feel that, motherfucker. Especially your adrenaline Really, when your adrenaline rush, it really be like a little bit out there, though, but you're going to feel it, though. So that be hit, she might be running or song or just talking or song. You know that be you know when it hits uh, heat. Mm -hmm. Now, were you under the influence of any drugs during either time? I don't do drugs. Why not? Some people do. I know reading too. Was that something you've ever experimented with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Care to share what you've tried in the past? Shit, that's some weed. And some, uh, some crack. I just play. I just bullshit. Just some weed, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't never been drunk. You've tasted liquor before, though? <clears throat> never even a drop of liquor. Champagne, wine, beer. <clears throat> Why not even experiment with that? I know a reason to. You're joint. Well, I take my personal opinion out of the interview. Because <laughs> this is just about you. Fat. But when it came to marijuana, was it just like a one-time try for you a couple times? Nah, hell nah. I had started smoking with y'all about 10. I should just, you know. And it just something I just stuck to. Try it out. Mm. So I sell it for I do it. How long do you think you were probably a user of it when you were smoking? See, a little mint. Hey, yeah, yeah. A little mint. When you stopped, did you stop cold turkey, like the flip of a light switch, or did it take some time to stop? No, I went to jail, got out, and just ain't smoking no more. And how do you feel since without any drugs in your system? See, it's fine. When it came to music, did you ever make music when you were under the influence of marijuana? Mm. Okay. So all the music people have heard about you, heard from you, has all been sober. Or mm -hmm. drug-free, I should say. Facts. 
See, I need to smoke some weed and write this song. Now, did you have a near-death experience at all with either shooting? Mm -mm. Do you know what I mean by near-death experience? Yeah, down and died, huh? Hey, and I. Well, for the audience watching that may also be wondering, let me give you the formal definition. As defined by Oxford Languages, an unusual experience taking place on the brink of death and recounted by a person after recovery, typically an out-of-body experience or a vision of a tunnel of light. Mm -mm. 